Uh, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen of uh, the press. Uh, this is our statement from the Azmio Summit, and it's titled Azmio Marches On. The summit, which is a top decision making organ of Azmio La Umoja, One Kenya Coalition Party, has held a meeting today under the chairmanship of the Right Honorable Raila Odinga. Being the first this year, the meeting focused on four main agenda items, namely review of the previous year, briefing on the government's budget-making process, position on public interest litigation, and the way forward. In attendance, as you can see before you, apart from our leader, we have uh, uh, his deputy, the Honorable Martha Karua, uh, yours truly, Honorable Mwangi Wairia, Honorable Wickliffe Oparanya, Honorable Peter Munya, Honorable Jeremiah Kioni, Honorable Nderitu Muredi, Honorable Wajakoya, and Honorable Opio Wandai. Absent with apology was the Honorable Stephen Kalonzo Msioka, who's currently in the Sudan for other engagements, but who spoke to our leader this morning and sent his apologies. And the meeting has gone on with his blessings and his views have been incorporated in the resolutions that we'll be reading to you shortly. After lengthy deliberation, the summit resolved the following. As Mio remains satisfied with its activities that were able to focus on the excesses of the Kenya Kwanzaa regime that has made life miserable for the greater majority of Kenyans. Because of Azmio's focus and steadfastness, the cost of living as a government-induced pain is understood to be a direct result of Ruto's policies and not only global environment or previous regime. So this is purely Ruto's failed policies and it should not be blamed on any global environment or Uhuru Kenyatta's regime almost two years later. The coalition is satisfied with the work of standing up for Kenyans and commits to continue holding the regime to account and to put blame where it belongs on areas like the ever-rising taxes, the deteriorating relationship with our neighbors, the rampant corruption in government, the tribalism in public service, the deterioration of the Kenya shilling, and general deterioration of our economy. The Kenya Kwanzaa regime and not the people of Kenya are to blame for these misfortunes that have ended up hurting innocent Kenyans. As Mio deeply regrets the loss of lives during the peaceful protests, continues to hold the government responsible for these needless deaths and promises that the deaths shall never be in vain. The coalition has weathered several vigorous attempts by the rural admi Ruto administration to create disunity and splits in its ranks. Unity is an achievement the coalition will guard jealously to be able to continue fighting for Kenyans as one united front. Because the coalition has been able to stand up and stand together, Kenyans have regained their voice, their courage, and are standing up to the bullies in this regime. Kenyans are standing up in very remote parts of the country to tell off the government on its lies and its insensitivity to the people. We encourage Kenyans to continue manifesting courage and call out this regime. We will stand with all Kenyans expressing such courage and determination to take back our country. The coalition is happy and proud of the performance of its members of parliament and critical and all, on all critical national issues. When it has mattered, even where the members have been outnumbered, they have expressed themselves clearly and candidly on such issues as the Finance Act 2023, and Kenyans will remember that there were 88 loyal members of Azmio who stood with them and there are 176 who voted yes, and that is why they are suffering today. Kenyans will remember their voices also of Azmio legislators on the housing levy, on the deployment of the police to Haiti, and the general state of the economy. Over time, we have been vindicated. May I now invite my senior, the Honorable Martha Karua, 
to read the rest of the statement. Thank you very much.